Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com, and this is the Raw Edit of the Week 53. It's time for my edit, it's time for Adam's edit, and it's brought to you by Allenscamera.com, which is fully up and running. Uh, check them out for all of your photo needs in the United States because they don't ship around the world. So if you're in the U.S., check it out. So here we go. The first things first is when you got this image, the orientation was off. Uh, so maybe in the D40 at the time that it wasn't set to auto-rotate, of your file. So all I'm doing here under library mode is clicking this arrow to take the photo that way. So under the develop module, which is right up there, I am going to go ahead and process this image the way that I would want to do it. First things first, this is my vision for this file. I want to go black and white to start. I want to pump the contrast like I normally do. I want to make this very, very high contrast. I want to make it pop. And then I'll go from there and do my alternative one, which may be color, which may be something totally different, but I want to start with black and white. So I'm going to click the black and white button over here. Boom. Well, not so much boom yet. It's pretty flat. But how do I want to? Well, yeah. I'll just tell you what it's shot at. One, one sixtieth of a second, F 4.5, ISO 235 millimeter, 1.8 on the Nikon D40. Amazing lens. Should put that on any camera that you have. So what I like to do is I go up with my exposure first. All right. And then I bump my contrast. Boom. Let's see what the black levels do. A little too much. So I'm going to pull back here on my exposure again. Bump up the blacks a little bit. Going to come down here to my tone curve. And I want to go strong. Stronger. I like strong tone curves. Boom. But I want to crop it. And remember what I say about cropping other people's work. I prefer cropping other people's work because it's not mine. And it's how I would envision it. So if I sit here with my keychain, I'm going to try to figure out how I want to pre-visualize this. My microphone's in the way. I could do that or I could do something else. Let's see. What am I looking for here? I could do this because it's less painful. I seem to leave a little bit more headroom. Boom. There we go. That's a composition that I would look for. And when I say that I crop other people's work, it's okay to look at your own work and go, how would I recompose this if I was able to shoot this again? And this is how I would compose this shot if I was shooting it. I would leave a little bit of headroom. Um, I don't know if I would cut the shoulder off as much, but you know what? Based on where the head's at, right in the middle for this one, I like it a lot. So I'm going to come in here. Let's see what, the, now, I don't want to do the fill light, but why don't I come in tight? And why don't I try to open up the eyes a little bit here and see if this hurts the image or helps the image because many times it just ends up looking too fake. All right, so we did that. And we come up here. Oh, snap, yeah. That makes that left eye look like it's, it's way too fake. So let me click on it. Boom. And just a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's go with just a little bit. Wiggle it just a little bit. Have it through. Okay. So there we go. We got that in black and white. I still want more contrast. I really, 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 really do. But I think we're close. If I throw fill light in here and then come back with the black levels, sorry, yeah, with the blacks, I can make it to extreme contrast. That eye is killing me, though. That left eye is really killing me. That's way too much still. So I'm clicking on it. I'm just going to take it back. Let's see where it was. Yeah, there it was. And there's just a little bit. So yeah, I, I, I kicked it just a little bit. <laughs> I kicked it. So I like this. This is where I'm going to go. Throw my general sharpening onto it. Oh, that's over here. Boom. Snapshot. Black and white. BW. Boom. Now let's start back over. Actually, let's just see what, where the color's at if I was to... Um, just go color. Hey now. Reset. 
Let's go with that crop again. And it was probably a little tighter. It may not be exactly the same crop, but that's okay. Like that. And let's get this color going. Kind of taking the same approach here. Just want to see, I'm just moving it around. The reason I move sliders is to give me a visual representation of exact, exactly what I'm going to see. That's why I don't look at histograms personally because I want to see the image changing in front of me when I change my slider here. This is interesting. This is, a, is definitely an interesting color. And I don't want to take it too far away. We got that. A little bit of green. That's interesting. Kick a little bit up into the face here. Some of this, some of this, some black levels. We can come back in here to work the exposure a little bit again of the eye. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Just want a very little bit kicked back into the eye. I'm going to make it a little bigger. And that is a very little bit. There we go. Let's pump it up a little bit. Not too much. Not too little. Right there. Back into it. Wow, that's a really thick, 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 contrasty image that we got out of this thing. Let's see, is it too yellow? I mean, that's... It needs to be a little bit warm because it's outside. I wonder what this would do today. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, being that this is my off-the-wall one, why don't I try some of this? I'm going to try, we're, we're going to find a split tone in here that gives this that oldish feeling. Even though I'm liking some of this stuff that I'm going through right now. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to go. I don't know. I need to just pick on something, don't I? Let's go with that. Boom. Oh, undo. And that's where I'm going to go with my color. So that is where I have it. I have the black and white. Let's save this as the color. Boom. Color, black and white. Color, black and white. Adam, your turn. Adam Lerner, and welcome to this week's Raw Edit. Uh, this week we have a portrait. Um, nicely shot. And let's very first off the bat, let's just rotate this to the left. Command, bracket, and that rotates it to the left. Um, yeah, this is nice. Uh, you know, the, the orientation of the subject is really, really nice. The light is cool. Um, despite, you know, the cap um, kind of shielding some of the light on his face, there is light. You know, we've got some light on there. And it's nice and sharp, nice focus, nice uh, blurred out background. Um, I think, you know, right off the bat, I might want to crop this image. Um, so I'm just going to hit the R key and let's just see what we do with that. Um, that seems a little bit more impactful just right off the bat. Let me just kind of go up a little bit more. Let's see if it's more of a headshot type shot. Uh, that's a little bit too much. So let's go down to here and, um, we're going to keep it like that. Um, as much as I like what's going on in the background, I don't think it's as strong for the shot. So we're going to just kind of loosely crop it like that. And we're going to get into an edit right here. Now, I'm thinking about just kind of punching everything up in the color realm, but there might be a black and white. So let's see what we got. We're going to check the exposure here, and I'm just going to bring it up a touch. And I am masking things off to watch for overexposed areas. Okay, so we're going to add some fill something like that. And then we want to add some blacks. Now I'm masking it off to look for 
overexposed air, underexposed areas. And I don't mind underexposing areas like that because those are there's not a lot of information in them. So just right off the bat, you can see how much you know his face has opened up. Skin tones are a little nicer. Speaking of which, let's add a little bit of contrast. But I'm going to get back to the skin tones in a minute. Uh, that's too much. So let's kind of bring it up to about there. We're going to add some clarity. Um, you know, we got all the facial hair and all the kind of the nooks and crannies in this guy. You know, is it, the textures in his shirt. So we definitely want to kind of bump up the clarity on it, just give it a little bit more drama there. Now, as far as skin tones, <clears throat> I would like to maybe just add a little bit of warmth in the temperature here. And just something, something pretty minor, just something like that. So again, the before and the after. Already to me, that, that looks a whole heck of a lot better. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of sharpening here. So let's grab an eye. And I'm um, just going to bring that up to about there. And I'm going to mask it off to sharpen the edge and not the texture detail. Okay, so let's see. We'll go to about there. Hey, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, I, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing it just a little bit brighter. So I'm just going to bring it up like that. And um, I'm, I'm pretty cool with that. And, you know, this, this, this guy's got some interesting eyes here. So, you know, maybe we could uh, just open them up a little bit and, um, you know, maybe just enhance them just a tad. So I'm going to go and hit the K for the brush tool. And we're going to go to Dodge and Lightning. And I'm going to zoom in holding the Z key or touching the Z key. And I just want to open this area up just a little bit. And I'm going to hit the O key to show the overlay. So this is going to show me where I'm actually brightening things up. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing across the, his mono brow. I'm going to go down in here and something like that. Okay. And let's remove the O key and let's see. That's kind of cool. Let's just bump it up just another notch or so. Somewhere around there. And we'll close that and we will zoom out. And uh, I, I like that. I do. Um, if we look at the before and we look at the after, you know, there's definitely a lot more going on. Now, I wouldn't mind doing some iris enhance on his eyes because, you know, he's got these kind of cool colored eyes here. So I'm going to go to iris enhance. Um, I'm going to zoom it in two times just to get in a little closer. And I'm going to navigate more closely to just the eyes so I can isolate that. And I'm going to, um, again, I'm going to use the overlay tool. So I'm going to hit the O key. And I'm just going to paint in the uh, iris enhancement in here, just like this. I'm not going to go too crazy with it, but I'm just going to do, just add a little bit. I'm going to do both eyes, of course. And we're just going to paint that in like that. Something like that. And there we go. I'm going to hit the O key again. And that's probably too much. So I'm going to bring the exposure down. Because I just want to just give it a slight enhancement. I'm going to leave it right there. Okay. I'm going to close that. I'm going to zoom out. And uh, yeah, that's that's very cool. Now let's see what's going on. You know, guy could use a little bit of a teeth whitening. I know, you know, we're getting a little bit specific here, but I'm going to just do it anyway. So we're going to hit the K and we are going to go into, um, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm hitting the F key. We're going to hit the K key. And we're going to go in and select teeth whitening. And again, I'm going to hit the overlay. So I know exactly where I'm overlaying this tool. And I'm just going to go over the teeth here. Just nothing too fancy. You know, this is a very quick edit, but just a little, little something, something, you know, just to kind of see what we got, see what this riot edit can bring us. I know you guys have done some amazing stuff on the forum. Really exciting to see. And um, I'm having some fun with it myself. Just going to minimize this a little bit here and there we go and we'll just get a little bit more over there and uh let's see so i'm going to hit the o key to remove the overlay and that's fine you know what we're going to close it we're going to zoom out and uh and yeah you know that that's that's actually kind of cool um i i kind of want to add some more contrast to see what that does for me nope I don't think I want to do that. That's too much. I'm just going to see what happens when we do just a little bit of post-crop vignetting. Um, we'll just add a little bit in here. Oh, I do like that quite a bit. Yep. Um, something like that. Just doing this, you know, really by feel. Just by, you know, touch here. Um, there we go. Bring that down just a touch more like that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty cool with that. The only thing that's kind of bugging me a little bit is this 
kind of white fence over here. So we're going to go back into our uh, adjustment brush tool. We're going to hit the uh, burn or darken. And I am going to hit the overlay key so I can see what I'm doing. And um, I'm just going to paint over this, this entire fence. I just want to just bring it down just a notch. Um, because I feel like it's a little bit distracting. You know, it's competing somewhat for, uh, you know, with this portrait here. So we're just going to keep painting over that. I don't really need to paint over that red thing so much. And uh, let's see. Just come on and down here a little bit more. Okay, cool. So I'm going to zoom out of that and remove the O key. And uh, you know what? Let's keep darkening it just a little bit further. Something that uh, looks a little bit funny. We'll do that. Um, maybe we will lose a little bit of clarity on that, that piece, just to kind of blur it out to kind of make it less impactful and uh, maybe just lose a little bit of sharpness there. And, you know, we can see the difference here. If we turn this on and off, you can see how much you know, brighter it would be. So I'm just going to leave that, that like that. And I'm going to close that tool. I'm going to keep this as my color edit. So I'm going to call this uh, snapshot one, and I'm going to create a black and white edit of this. Now, uh, to do so, I'm going to, I'm going to keep all the settings that I did for my color edit. I'm going to use that as a base and I'm going to hit the V key to get into the black and white module. And what I want to do here is I'm just going to bring the color temperature down just a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit more fill. I'm going to add a little more blacks. And I'm going to add a little more contrast. You know, I, I like that quite a bit, actually. Let's see what we do with clarity. Clarity is kind of cool. Um, let's just see. It's going to check my exposure really quick. You know what? I'm going to just add a little bit of exposure here. That's way too much. Kind of bring it to there. And, you know, in doing this, the, you know, the photograph has changed quite a bit, but... Um, I'm pretty cool with that, you know. I, I really kind of like uh, what we got. So um, let's see. I am going to call this snapshot two, and that is going to be my black and white. So I've got my color edit, my black and white edit, and let's go off and see what Jared's got. Here we are, we're back. We've got Adam Lerner in the bottom right hand corner. We've got me always in the left hand corner. Um, so from left to right, my color edit, my black and white edit, followed by Adam's black and white, followed by Adam's color, followed by the photographer's original edit. So we kind of ended up with the same crop, Adam. That's crazy, man. It I, is, I, and I honestly didn't look at your photos before you sent them. So and of course I didn't look at yours either. Right. So it's always it's kind of interesting. We have pretty much the same crop left to right. You left a little bit more headroom. I came in slightly tighter. Yeah, you know, and it's funny, as I was doing my edit, I was not pleased that I'd left as much headroom. Mm -hmm. But I had already committed to the edit and you know, in the interest look, when you're doing these things, how much time do we really want to give them? We so try to take about five minutes to do this. Where, where normally with our own work we would probably spend a much longer time if it was a final type of image. Indeed. Um, feedback. Uh, what, what are you thinking here? Did you dodge and burn his shirt, or did you just bring that back in the way that you did it? I did not touch his shirt. Interesting. See, what were you looking for when you were doing this? What do you look for in the... Because uh, we, we have two different distinct ways of looking at images, because, you know, when we look at our wedding shots, you edit them one way, I edit mine the other way. What were you looking for? Or what are you looking um, at when you're editing? Well, you know, look, very first thing off the bat is I wanted to isolate him as the subject. Um, I liked the context of, I guess, what the train was in the background, but there really wasn't enough information from that other person. So I knew he had to come out. And I just really wanted to, you to be drawn into this dude's kind of interesting face, you know? Yeah. So I just wanted you to really kind of get this guy's point of view. And um, when I first looked at it, you know, it's a little surreal. I mean, he's wearing kind of like this, this purple, you know, work suit. And he's got this, you know, uh, w w driving cap Jeff on. Cap. And, what's that? Jeff cap. 
Right. And, and you see like kind of a train. There's kind of like this old timey feel about it. Um, so I wanted to kind of like add a little bit of drama to it. I didn't want to just kind of give like, you know, a standard um, edit to it. I wanted to make it, you know, a little bit, a little bit dramatic. Yeah. Uh, so basically looking at it, it's interesting because you kind of when you do your edits, they, they have a, a different crunchiness to them. Mm -hmm. sometimes you know like it looks like the face is a little bit solarized in the black and white one do you know what i mean solarized solarized meaning it, solarized when we used to solarize in the in the oh, black you mean and white. In photoshop like no not in photoshop i mean in the actual dark room when the, oh. here i'll explain solarizing for everybody when you were in the dark room if you would say develop start to develop your uh your piece of paper in the developer and then expose the paper again to light white right. light and then drop it into the fixer or, or stop bath first you would see what happens it, it becomes solarized it gets a lot of this gray burning in like it, just extreme kind of uh, black and white it, it becomes weird and it kind of has a i'm not gonna say weird it has an interesting solarized look yeah huh okay but that's what i got i mean you i know, mean i, I, I like think, your um, go ahead i mean what some of the things look here's what i think is like what I did is I opened up his eyes. I, I lightened the eye area because obviously the rim from the cap was, you know, casting a bit of a shadow. And if you zoom in to his eyes, he's got like these really kind of interesting colored eyes with all those little kind of like, you know, nodules or whatever you call them. So I also went in there and I enhanced them a little bit just to bring out more of the kind of... Sure. You know, because he's got all those different colors and all those lines... Um, so I wanted to like just accentuate that just a little bit, um, but at the same time I didn't want to overexpose. And I feel like you know I like your edits very much. I feel like they're just a little bit too hot, you know. Um, Where yeah, I mean I look I like your color. I like the color you have, and I know you think it looks a little too hot, but I, I kind of I kind of like the loss of it there more so than in in the face and your black and white. It just looks like it's been dodged and burned. Like all of the detail has been kept and and. To me, that just for my personal preference, I right. like to blow it out a little bit. And, and, and I did go in to touch the eyes just a little bit. I didn't want to mm -hmm. overdo it because then it would look like he had cataracts or it was too much. <laughs> um, but, you know, I mean, that's about it. I, I, I like, we have pretty similar, ed I like your color a little better than mine. Mine's a little too on the green side here. Um, mm. But I do, I like your color there. And the black and white's not terrible at all. Not, I mean, terrible, not terrible at all. <laughs> They're very close. You're yeah. saying yours isn't terrible. No, I was it's saying acceptable. yours isn't terrible. No, yours isn't terrible. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's interesting. Look, I like I like to go for more of that silvery tone. I like to have all those mid tones in there, and you like much, you know, a harsher contrast. Um, yeah, you like, bigger separation, you know, but... highlights, and d deeper separation, and it's cool. You know, it's it's you know, we both have different tastes. Um, but they're not that far apart. And if no. you want to just kind of bring the um, photographer's edit in, <clears throat> I think that um, he did a he did a fine job. You know, I think that he might have been a little bit too personally attached to the composition, and um, it would have been nice had he maybe considered a crop. But um, you know, it, it gave us it gave us more uh, to play with. Sure. I mean, it's, it's a little dark. I would have just opened it up just to touch on what he did there. Yes. But I think it's thick, and I, and I, I like, like how he did it. It definitely needed the crop, and I did explain that to everybody, why the cropping is needed and, and, uh, and stuff like that. But, you know, good job. I think, yep. they're, I think they all work out. Um, nice, nice beard again you're growing. And, Thank uh, you. <laughs> it's doing very well, in fact. Yes, just for men. A, a, touch, of, a touch of gray, you know. Yeah. Because I like... I like that guy's energy, but that guy's experience. Right. Yes. All right, Adam. Yes. So we'll be back with the next week. This is week 53 Three. of the Raw Edit. Thanks to Alan again for sponsoring, and um, we'll see you the next time, Ad. All right, Jared. See you. All right, Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.